I'm Ruth from Blue Bar Lane Jewellery and today I'm making some of these hammered um, band rings. So we'll start off with a long piece of sheet um, silver, um, which is eco silver, so it's all been recycled, melted down from old medical supplies and scrap jewellery and stuff like that. Um, so we'll start by just cutting a length of it. So you can either cut it or saw it, um, doesn't really matter on something like this. Um, and then we're going to hammer the textured finish. Um, so there's a few way different ways of doing this, but one that I like is I've got a hammer that's got circles in it, um, so that leaves a really nice circular pattern on the surface. So there you can see the texture is coming up, the light bounces really nicely all at different angles um, from that pattern. Um, and then we need to file the ends down um, because when we join it into a ring the ends want to be really flush um, so the solder can join it together through there. So once the ends are nice and filed down, um, we can just bend that. It doesn't need to be a perfect um, circle at the moment because we'll, um, we'll bend it to that later. Um, but the main thing is that you just want those ends to meet um, really, really well. and that will help give it a, um, help it be more strong. So then we're gonna move on to the soldering part. So for this I use a soldering paste, which comes in a little syringe, um, and you just apply that to the join. You only, really, you only need a really small amount on that. And then with a soldering torch and just on a charcoal block, we'll then fire that. So this would always be the um, scariest bit of um, having a workshop at Folk East because of the wind and never knowing which way it was going to blow. So the solder will melt at a lower temperature to the silver, so that should um, sort of melt and join them before the silver melts. Okay, so once that's done, then we'll quench it just in some cold water. Um, which again like shocks the molecules in it and tightens it up. Um, so that's that joined together and now we just need to hammer it out on the mandrel to get that perfect ring circle. to um, file down along the solder joint, just where it's sort of um, a little bit built up.
then we'll just buff out the um, file marks a little bit. You don't need to worry too much on a on a, like a textured ring because you won't see the um, small scratches. But if you're doing a flat, shiny ring, then you'd need to buff a lot with um, all different grades um, to get all of those scratches out. Um, but because this one's hammered, I'll simply just over the bit that I've just filed, I'll just hammer it again with the circular hammer um, just to get that pattern over the top of it. So there you can see the ring is done other than it's got a like a grey black finish to it at the moment which is the fire scale from when we fired it. Um, so to get rid of that you just need to pickle it in a solution which um, I've got my slow cooker which is just a salt and vinegar mix and we'll leave that for about 20 minutes um, and then the fire scale should just um, rub off and um, it will then go into a barrel tumbler which is a little barrel that's filled with steel like balls and shapes that just get into all the nooks and crannies um, and they just help really polish it up and make it really strong. Um, yeah, and then when that's done, you end up with a super shiny one like this. Um, thanks for watching.